Um, hey guys, it's me, the Twilight Dash, and today I'll be reacting to the Legion of Superheroes opening over both seasons one and two. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's get right into it. So, for a little context here, uh, this show, uh, uh, this show originally aired back on Kids WB back in. 2006 to 2008 for two seasons. And uh and and this character here is called Brainiac 5 and and he's actually the a descendant of the original Brainiac from uh, from the main DC timeline. Also uh also here, also, also right for low context here. Uh, where is it? Sorry. This Superman here isn't actually from the future because Superman doesn't actually exist in the future anymore. So what happened was in the first season of of Legion of Superheroes, uh, the Legion went back in time to recruit Superman f from the past. Back in back in what like two thousand something because Legion of Superhero takes place in the year three thousand and one I believe. Um, and, and this is Saturn Girl and her powers is basically like mind control and whatnot. This is a Lightning Lad and his power is to control a lightning I guess. This is this is a triplicate girl, and her power is to d divide herself into three different people. I guess now this is Bouncy Boy, and his power is to basically bounce around like in a ball form. This is Phantom Girl, and, and her power is to turn into a phantom. I guess. This is, uh, this is, go back. This is a timber wolf. Who has the power of a wolf, I guess. And this is the first season's villains, I guess. And they're called the Fatal Five. Oh yeah, that here. And also, Brainiac 5 can also transform into a giant robot if he wants. Oh, with missiles. Also, a little side note here, but, you know... Uh, the Legion can also send Superman back to the same exact time that they took him from the past if they wanted to. And now it's season one. And now it's time for season two opinion. Okay, so this is season two season two's villain known as Imperiax, and he's actually from the future after the Legion of Superheroes. And these are all the characters like grown up after, I don't know, like a couple years time, I guess. And this here is Superman X from the future who has been create who has been created to stop Imperiax in the future as well and and both of these characters are actually voiced uh, by the same person who voiced teenage ben back in um alien force ultimate alien and omniverse and he also uh, and he's not actually clark at all in the future he's actually a clone of superman but he also has 
uh, like, uh, you know, what's the word, like, um, you know, like immunity to kryptonite, so he can't be affected by it that much. And he can also fire kryptonite beams from his eye as well. Also, also right here, this is a new character in Season 2 called Chameleon Boy, and he's basically um, a shapeshifter. And these are, if we go back, these are all the villains from Season 1, and, and they also like grew up as well. Okay, so the reason why a triplet king girl only has two versions of herself in this opening is because, without spoiling it too much, something happens in the first two episodes, and it leads to her only having like two versions of herself, sadly. And this is also an important season for Brainiac 5 because let's just say we learn more about Brainiac's history and he also has a very, what's the word, dark fate in, in season 2 which I won't spoil because I want you guys to watch it for yourself. Anyways, uh, that's my reaction to the Legion of Superhero Heroes opening one and two for uh, for both seasons. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.